Alright, so I may have come across the problem with that rattle. I don't know if you can see that. But see how that torque converter bolt is off? Now it's tight, but if you look around here, see how it's, the bolt's actually bellied out on the torque converter before it's tightened up on the flywheel. So, I'm going to take that out and hopefully that'll be the, the solve on my rattle issue. Well, I thought I'd get this on tape. I just, well, as you would have seen, I just replaced those bolts in the torque converter because they were bellying out and hitting on the torque converter before they were tightening up on the flex plate. And I hooked the fuel back up and everything and I hit the key. The thing fired up and there was no death rattle anymore but I think there is a bit of a tappet rattle so I shut it straight down but I couldn't believe it just sat there idling so just kicked the baby outside so it doesn't get smoked out with the side pipes or fumed out I should say then I'll just flick this up and kick her in the guts again hopefully it'll start and not make me look like a fool that'll wedge up there in the roller door Yeah, well how about that? Now I've just got the master apart here. As you can see it's pretty pretty ordinary sort of condition. Yeah, it just must have had water in it or or something. Could have been when it was on the boat coming over or who knows. So I'm just going to go through and give her a bit of a tidy up and see what sort of shape it's in. I was just going to go up and get another one. But I'll just see what I can do with this one first. And if it's questionable at all, well obviously you don't do things half assed when it comes to brakes. So yeah, we'll see how it looks. And if it looks real bad, well, should we get it out. So I just knocked the brake disc off here because I wasn't happy with these and this is definitely not how you put longer wheel studs in. You don't get bolts and booger weld them to your rotor. That's uh, not how you do it. Yeah so Went down to Repco and that and got some new ones to put in. But yeah, that is not cool. And here we have one of the axles out of it. As you can tell, it's tell the same thing's been done here. There's some bolts dropped through and boggle welded to the axle. Wicked. Very well, that's it. Yeah, that should get it. Alright, let's see if we can get it to move under its own power for the first time. Right up, let's try this again.
that's the yellow Monaro running and driving to a degree. So I don't think I'll probably do any more videos on that unless you want to see it. The rest of it will be pretty boring sort of stuff, just tidying up some wiring, getting lights working and so forth. The brakes, master cylinder, cleaned up all good, put it back on, no dramas there. I will get it, however get it redone, as there was some slight pitting in the bore of it. So, yeah, but for the time being and to save some money, it'll do to give it brakes to move around the yard and here and there, wherever I need to take it to get stuff done. But yeah, all in all, it starts, it drives. I'm hoping that uh, tap it noise will clear up. If not, well, I'm about to do a video on the Chevy build, the 350 that I got from the junkyard. So once that's all done, I'll might even drop that in and see it go from there. Yeah, I hope. See you on the next video, I guess.